Hi, Mark Donovan here from Falcon Imagery. Today I'm going to show you how to calculate the amount of gallons per hour that you're burning uh, per legs on a cross-country flight uh, using an E6B whiz wheel. So the E6B whiz wheel can be used to determine the gallons of fuel you're going to burn um, between legs along your cross-country flight. You can use the E6B whiz wheel um, to put in your initially your gallons per hour burn rate and then looking at your gallons per hour burn rate relative to the minutes that you're flying, you can determine the specific amount of gallons that you're going to burn between the legs. And let me show you how to do that. We have our E6B whiz wheel. What we want to look for um, is this bottom set of instructions where it says we've got a triangle here. We want to put the triangle underneath the gallons per hour burn rate that we're going to burn. In this case, we're going to be burning 8.5 gallons per hour in cruise. And then we look at our estimated time and route by looking at the inner or the, the middle uh, set of numbers and then going up to the outer ring to determine the number of gallons we're going to burn along that leg of the cross-country flight. So let's put this into use. So using the whiz wheel, I'm going to put the triangle underneath the 8.5 gallons per hour fuel burn. Then while holding that fix with my fingers and thumb, I'm going to look for the amount of time on this inner ring that I anticipate flying um, for the first leg, which was two minutes as shown in the VR navigation log. So I go to the inner ring and I look for two minutes and I see it right there and I go up. So I know I'm not going to be burning three gallons or two and a half gallons, something in between, but it's not gallons. It's going to be tenths of gallons. It just, you just, just kind of have to look at the numbers to see that they make logical sense. If I'm going to only fly for two minutes, I'm going to be burning, it looks like, approximately just under 0.3 gallons of fuel. So I'm going to round up and just call it a whole 0.3 gallons of fuel to fly those two minutes. And I'll put that in my log. Next, I'm going to fly seven and a half minutes. So I'm going to go again on the inner wheel and looking for seven and a half minutes. There's seven and a half minutes. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to see that I'm going to burn, it looks like about one gallon to maybe 1.1 gallon of fuel um, over that seven and a half minute period. So I'm going to be, again, conservative here uh, because it's seven and a half minutes. I'm going to conserve, be conservative and go 1.1 gallons. Next, I have to look for six minutes. Well, six minutes, uh, there's the six minutes right here on this inner curve. It comes up to, again, the 8.5. Well, I know I'm not burning 8.85. I know I'm not burning 8.5 gallons in that hour. I'm burning about 0.85. I'll, again, round up and I'll call it 0.9. And the last leg is five minutes. Five minutes, go up here, it looks like about 0.7. And that sum works out to five gallons. I'll just put it in here. I will say that you may want to account for, and you should account for, uh, additional fuel burn for taxing and doing run-ups um, before you actually depart. So, uh, well, I'm going to say here, uh, we're going to want to add approximately one and a half gallons for taxing and run up. So we would burn roughly six and a half gallons from engine start to arriving at our destination um, at Arbor Lewiston, Maine. So that's all there is to using an E6B whiz wheel to calculate the amount of fuel burn uh, per the minutes that you're flying in between legs. You simply put the triangle where the gallons per hour uh, fuel consumption rate is anticipated and then look on the inner or middle arc of numbers for the amount of minutes you anticipate flying that leg, and then looking out of the outer ring to determine the amount of fuel that you're going to burn during those number of minutes. Anyways, hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, consider hitting the like button and subscribing to this channel and hitting the notification bell so you get notified uh, for my next video.